Hello and welcome everyone. I have a ton of Guilty Gear open beta footage, even though the beta is closed. Um, I had a lot of matches with a lot of different characters, and so today we'll be doing Milia. This kind of started a weird phase for me because I went from Sol to Kai, and we went Milia this time, and then next week I'm gonna show you guys some Axel gameplay. So we went from going to like a short range fast character to like a long range uh, kind of deviant, if you will. But yeah, here we go, Melia versus Ram. These were probably done, um, probably tried to sneak these in on like day three, maybe the Friday of the beta. So my, my understanding was somewhat decent. I watched a lot of gameplay from a lot of different people, but I may not have been as mechanically sound as I was later on. So let's see what I got. This is gonna be news to me too. Oh my God, yeah, we lab this. Oh yeah, she can actually jump out of that there, but she didn't know. And that was probably saving for her to do anyway. We try to use close slash to like pop off. Oh my god, the immediate declaring respect. Ram's so good in this game. She could have she could have definitely snuffed me. Okay, she, she's still gonna snuff me. So we got a corner with our air mobility. Put her in the corner. Could have did more damage there for sure. Now we're just scared. We backed up. We should have just stayed on. We don't get any value of backing up right there. If you're playing Melia, you need to stay not just on the offensive but just like you don't need to show fear you're not gonna get anything you're not gonna get any value off of it unfortunately if you're ram and they're approaching you you get value right because your normals are just so nutty she falls for this low again this low is actually super good it's not the safest but okay we get the cross that time there we go okay there we go so i need to use both the dashes i swear when i was labbing um milia her her jump slash is was not hitting staring opponents, but it is hitting Ram. And I hear she has uh, abnormally big hurt boxes for her size, and that may be contributing to it, but I remember when I was labbing, I definitely was not getting a lot of value out of jump M. And I would I think later on I figure out the jump L. I mean jump uh, jump punch. Oh, that was such a good I know you can combo off that. Wait, I did bad moon into a uh, punch? What the fuck? I'm actually kind of nutty. All right, yeah, we're both scared. I'm scared of her buttons, and she's scared of my speed. Who's gonna get it? Holy shit, she's not guarding those legs. So yeah, if you space that uh, the car, hair car correctly, you actually, it's, actually some, it's actually safer than you think. It seems like a very hard committal move. If you can get the startup out the way, you're typically good. Now, off that counter hit, you actually get a lot. Um, I don't think I do it here. Because, again, I don't think I'm the most mechanically sound. But if you get counter hit uh, heavy slash, standing heavy slash, you can actually um, do her little command dash, her uh, quarter circle back kick into a uh, close slash. Big knowledge drop there. I hope it stays for the retail version of the game. But it's actually, that's so good. Big, so good. Uh, a lot of people may not know this, but like her standing heavy slash is really, really good. Okay, gonna try and chip her out, get some free pressure. Buttons, buttons, buttons. So yeah, as long as she's not pressing heavy, which I notice a lot of rams don't do, I get the press heavy. And if it's on counter hit, obviously we get a great confirm um, into a lot of options, but more so I can establish uh, what I want to do so even on block there I could have went for car which he was getting hit by a lot um, and we also could have went for um, Tandem and it would have worked there too. So yeah, that's game one. Let's keep it moving. All right, and right into match two we go The missing leak on Giovanna Let's hope we clean up our game plan because I actually laughed the crap out of her the morning of this uh, recording so Yo, Can we get like a Shout out to the devs. This game is gorgeous. Melia is fucking gorgeous. Yes. Yo, she actually has nails. Yo. Oh, we gotta put her down. Let's go. Pull the hair out. They talking that shit. Oh. Yo, zero rollback frames. All right. So we got rush down versus rush down. I swear to you, every Giovanna that has this color has actually fucking got the stuff. Okay, we try to get going there. Fuck up the conversion, it's fine. Okay, yeah, we're moving, we're moving now. We are moving. Oh my god, that back dash is so good. Oh, the conversion. Yes, sir. She's gonna have to burst. Oh, no burst. Drop by me. Wall break. Watch it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why am I backing up? 
Yeah, so one thing that definitely held true for the whole beta, and I think everyone can agree, is that anti-airs don't seem very, very strong. Um, that's not actually the worst thing, and I'll make a video about the whole beta experience. So yeah, if you're interested in what I thought about the whole thing, definitely be on the lookout for that video later this week. Oh my god. But anti-airs are definitely not the strongest, so you get really scared to not be moving. Which is why you see so much jumping. But they're definitely serviceable. They get the job done. You know, they basically say, hey, no, you can't do this. And some characters like so get a lot of value off their um, anti-air options. Milia, not so much. Some people can convert off of their kick, but she really can't. Her, their standing kick, I mean. She can't really. Unless she like spaces very far back. It's not very high up like soul standing okay oh my god i'm trying to get on top of her it's funny somehow she's letting me control the pace but like as soon as she presses a button i'm always getting fucked so i don't know why she just won't press more buttons oh yeah i'm putting that fucking tandem right in her face that's why she actually has a move she actually has a move for this though the uh the move that looks like uh cammy's corkscrew Cannon spike. There we go. Oh my god. Let it rip. Please don't take me out. Okay, I don't get hit by this. Big punish? Oh my god. I gotta figure out how to... My punishes are dog. Speaking of dog. Let's not get eaten up here. Final round? There we go. Okay, we clean this up. Not too bad. We're moving this one. We're finally warmed up. Let's get into the next match. Alright, next up we have a Zotol. He's only level 1 though. But... But, I don't know, he can still have that soft stuff. I really like how when you switch to different characters, they start for level 1. So, you know, you don't think just because of the floor that you're on, that everyone's going to be necessarily good at their character. Like, you get to see how much experience they have on their character. Heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. You should start acting more like a director. I don't know who the fuck you talking to, buddy. Here's my order. Yo! Hit it. I love when the fucking just the power cords just rock, dude. I love it. Let's get going. There we go. Huge open, guys. Literally, the opponent can't even. They have to neutral jump or back jump that. In my experimentation, if they don't neutral jump. I mean, if they, yeah, if they do forward jump. I think even neutral jump. It catches so many aerial options on startup. It's actually very, very good. Oh, yeah, we're gonna smother this guy. Oh my god, this skin on him looks really nice, though. Zato can actually stay in complete control of this matchup. Because his, uh, his, uh, down, his crouching heavy is actually very good. We smell the fear, but we can't figure out how to get in. That's another thing that's really weird for her. You would assume someone like Zato would control a lot of horizontal space. That's why I'm jumping so much. And since I've played a lot of Zato, I can definitely guarantee you he can control a lot of horizontal space. He actually doesn't have a decent... He actually has pretty good buttons. His air to air is phenomenal. His jumping P is phenomenal. His far slash is actually really, really good. He has nothing to be afraid of, but he just doesn't know. Easy. And we're just being careful because we're scared of the puppet. At the time, I didn't know what he did. But uh, I don't. I can't imagine too many better openings other than this. Literally, they have to. They have to respect that. Unless they have. I don't even think Zato's far slash beats that move. Because it's just the disjointed nature of it. I can't wait till we get actual frame data though to know if that can really be contested. I wonder if her if the hitbox is disjointed from her entirely, right? Because one of the reasons why Ram is so good, obviously the button's big, but like the button's not connected to her. Right? Okay, see, like that move. We got poked out of it. So maybe maybe it's not visually what it seems. Any million mains out there, please let me know. Oh my god. Rush down city bit. Oh. Yeah, so it's funny because if she if 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 you touch someone with rate with Milia, like you should just go off. 
Everything before the hit is the hard part, but once you get the hit, just go in, dude. Gamer B, eh? Oh, we're level 16 now? Oh, we're about to pop off. So yeah, like I was saying before, it's... It's really hard to get the hit with her, but once you get the hit with her, you just snowball into oblivion. And I can't wait to see all the different ways people figure out how to get the hit. Oh, he's got the red skin too. Look at this fucking intro. Clean. Now a lot of a lot of different games will actually have like a little effect where the sun hits the blade right there, but since we're in the shade, it doesn't happen. I assume that's why it doesn't happen. It may just do that usually. It may just usually do that. I don't know. Anyway, I like that it didn't do it though. Look at this open. This open has worked on three people. Guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Heavy Slash is a great opening. Oh, we're in there. We're smoothing. 105 MS, and I guarantee you didn't feel like it. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I say that, then we have some issues here. Okay. 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 It's a little bit laggy. The rollback frames are fluctuating. There we go. We're stabilizing. Car. Yeah, Nago actually doesn't have very good reversals up close. So once you get in, he's pretty much screwed. He has to use a lot of gauge to really keep you at bay. There we go. He actually did that really well. Okay. Really big buttons. He is bleeding health though. Yeah, I should just play back here. Oh, he's lagging and I played back. So is he safe during the animation? Dude, people are gonna lab the flip out this game. I cannot wait, dude. There's not even much to analyze here. This guy is not managing his blood gauge at all. He pretty much killed himself. I love how he can't die. Though. Look, he's just like fucking laying there staring at us. But you didn't know if you didn't know. Uh, whenever that when he takes the mask off and his sword gets red and all that stuff, um, he basically is dying in. He's losing. He's he's gonna lose all his health. That's his penalty for using that blood gauge down there, filling it up. You don't need to know too much about it, other than when the animation plays, he's losing health, so you don't necessarily have to approach. You let him come to you, which is probably for the better, because even though he's dying, he gets a ridiculous amount of damage off his normals and access to a really damaging uh super overdrive, if you want to call it that. I like calling them supers because they're super. All right, so his blood gauge is going to fill up, right? He's doing way too many things. Oh, my God. Are we nutty? Am I this nuts? I'm not that nuts. I'm not that nuts. I should have did the other one. All right, big trouble by me. But look, look, he's just losing all his health. He can't die from it, though. Night, night. And you can kill a chip in this game. So um, we actually had a lot of options there to just get in there. We could have bad mooned, honestly, is what we probably should have did. Probably just should have just high jumped. Air dash in and blood moon. Giovanna is next in line. Level 26. Okay. So you can see their little rank. And this is a fifth floor person. So let's see. Let's hope they have their mechanics together. Let's see what color Geo. That's really the determinant. Neutral color. Uh-oh. Dude, that opening has worked on four people. If there's anything that you're going to take from this video is that Heavy Slash as an open for her is very good. They either have to respect it or avoid it. And I don't, you cannot jump in on it. You have to just jump up and then air dash in, which should give you enough time to block. Okay. There we go. Good burst. You do not want what I was going to give you in that corner. So I'm pretty confident in saying that this matchup pretty much comes down to who controls the skies better. And it looks like uh, the Giovanna understands this as well. Oh my god, they went for it three times. You've got to be joking. Uh, we should have oh, RC'd. That would have been round. We should have RC'd in the full combo in the wall break. Would have been nighttime, 100%. She has no burst. We're trolling. We threw that round. That was such a free win. We won that round four seconds ago. And with Milia, since you're typically moving a lot, forwards and backwards. Uh, you're probably going to have a lot more meter than you think. One thing I definitely want to do, though, is talk about how much meter we should be using for defense. I think I fault this defense most of the time when I block because I just don't want to deal with it. But, like, what if you do? I don't know. But it saved my life there. I got the pushback I needed to not get grabbed. 
Okay, we're punching our way out. No way that no way that uh, knee is plus. Okay, good block. I don't know why I responded with down slash. That's not good. Okay. Damn. We actually lost that? Are you fucking... Why didn't we press more buttons? She definitely understood the control of the air, though. Alright, moving on. Yes, sir. The run back. I don't know why I let myself get smothered. Alright, let's hope I picked up on her strategy. I didn't open with heavy, heavy slash there. But I definitely should have. There we go. We heavy slash out. See? Such a good button. Alright, alright. There we go. I let her know. So that's another way to control the skies. If you don't want to go up there, because you don't believe in your air to air game, just literally forward P. This is when you want to use it. Now, she's using her other way to get in, though, which is very key in this matchup. Her uh, down forward kick, it gets her in and it's safe. And if she understands the pushback on it, pretty much depending on what you do, if you decide to FD or not, she can actually punish your button, which is something a lot of Giovanna's are doing later. They'll do the little uh, cannon drill into button because they know exactly how much pushback it has, whereas you don't. I should have just ended it. Why am I not roaming canceling? Guys, if you have half bar, just roaming cancel. It doesn't even matter if it's... <laughs> there we go. Okay. See, we got value out of just roaming canceling into nothing. Bar does not carry over. You have no reason to not use it. We didn't get smothered that time. There we go. See, she can't jump forward. But I tell you, if there's anything you're going to take from this video, it's started. Heavy slashes of started is a great opener. I'm telling you. There we go. Nope. Ready for that jump in. Yeah, yeah, we're ready for that jump in. Oh, no. Your shout out to Arxis. Implementing a rollback. I don't know why they're jumping in with punches like this, though. Okay. Am I nutty? Oh, my God. I can't wait to get my conversions together, man. There we go. We mashed on the Roman cancel, unfortunately. Oh my god. Okay, thank god we got a Jink hitbox and didn't have to die for that. Alright, she's got... She's got 50%. She's got half a bar. All right, there we go. Yeah, we just had to put it down. Just had to let her know, hey, you're not about to jump in on me. Those six piece from the first round, put her in her place. Good clean out.